During the past two years, and especially during this one, the race to creating the biggest and best artificial intelligences has been heating up considerably with almost all of the big tech companies one-upping each other on almost a monthly basis. In this video, I will show you the best and smartest artificial intelligences created so far. Even though that by 2022, it's considered a rather old artificial intelligence, GPT-3 is still one of the most powerful language model yet created. When given an introductory line, its predecessor, GPT-2, was already capable of producing believable streams of text in a variety of genres. GPT-3, on the other hand, represents a significant advancement. The model includes 175 billion parameters, the values that a neural network attempts to optimize during training, as opposed to GPT-2's already massive 1.5 billion. And when it comes to language models, size does matter. GPT-3 has been discovered to create any type of text, including guitar tabs and computer code. Web developer Sharif Shamim, for example, demonstrated how he could let GPT-3 design web page layouts by providing it hints like, a button that looks like a watermelon, or, big text in red that screams welcome to my newsletter and a blue button that says subscribe. Even famed coder John Carmack, who pioneered 3D computer graphics in early video games like Doom and is now consulting CTO at Oculus VR, expressed concern. The recent, almost accidental, revelation that GPT-3 can kind of write code does produce a minor chill. This brings me to today's sponsor, Skillshare, which couldn't be more of a perfect partnership due to its beginner-friendly artificial intelligence classes. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for aspiring developers and creatives. Explore new skills and deepen existing passions. AI models such as OpenAI's Glide can be used by anyone with a little experience in machine learning which is one of the many topics on Skillshare along with web development, search engine optimization, entrepreneurship and more. My personal favorite class and the one I recommend for making use of this video's topic is the Artificial Intelligence for Beginners tools to learn machine learning class by alvin Wan, which tells you everything you need to know about creating and then optimizing your models by understanding the importance of model complexity skillshare is curated specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you skillshare's entire catalog of classes now offers subtitles in spanish french portuguese and german Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. The first 1000 people to use the link on my description box or my code will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Codex is more of a next-generation product for OpenAI than something entirely new. It is based on Copilot, a program designed to work with Microsoft's GitHub code repository. Users would get recommendations similar to those shown in Google Autocomplete, only it would assist them finish lines of code. Codex has advanced that notion significantly by taking phrases written in English and turning them into executable code. As an example, a user may instruct the system to generate a web page with a certain name at the top and four uniformly sized panels numbered 1 through 4 underneath. Codex would then attempt to generate the code required to make such a site in whichever language, JavaScript, Python, etc., was judged acceptable. The user might then submit more English commands to piece together the web page. Codex and Copilot parse written text using OpenAI's language generation model. It can produce and parse code allowing users to utilize Copilot in a variety of ways, one of which was to generate computer code authored by others for the GitHub repository. Many contributors to the project accused OpenAI of profiting from their code, a claim that could very well be leveled about Codex as well, given that most of the code it creates is just copied from GitHub. Notably, OpenAI began as a charity in 2015 and transitioned to a capped profit business in 2019, a move the firm claimed would help it attract more money from investors. Gopher, like GPT-3, is an autoregressive transformer-based dense LLM that predicts the next word based on the text history. It is only surpassed in size by NVIDIA's MTNLG, created in collaboration with Microsoft, which has 280 billion parameters. Massive text was used to train the model, 
which comprises sources such as Massive Web, a compilation of web pages, C4, Common Crawl Text, Wikipedia, GitHub, books, and news items. DeepMind collaborated with Gopher to create the Gopher family, a collection of smaller models ranging in size from 44M to 7.1B params. To separate scale impacts on model power, all models were trained on 300B tokens, 12.8% of massive text. The performance of Gopher was compared to that of SOTA models in 124 tests spanning numerous fields, including arithmetic and logic, reasoning, knowledge, science, ethics, and reading comprehension. In 100 of 124 jobs, Gopher beat SOTA models such as the GPT-3, J1 Jumbo, and MTNLG. These results cement Gopher as the most powerful LLM to date, and DeepMind as the leading competitor in language AI, and as a sure bet on who will lead us to the next AI breakthrough. Dall E was a 12 billion parameter model that used a dataset of text image pairings to work. It received both the image and the text as a single stream of data as input. Each data stream had up to 1280 tokens and was trained using maximum likelihood to create all of the tokens sequentially. This allowed Dahl E to create a new image from scratch. It could also recreate any rectangular section of an existing picture that stretched to the bottom right corner and match the text instructions. Dahl E2 essentially accomplishes the same thing as Dahl E. It takes a difficult prompt, such as a painting inspired by Banksy's work displaying a machine human connection, and turns it into hundreds of pictures. Finally, it selects the best image from all of the outputs to fulfill the user's requirements. However, Dahl E2 is significantly more flexible and capable of creating higher resolution photos. Dahl E2 is also capable of producing several versions of a single picture. These modifications might be an impressionistic rendition of the image or a close representation of it. The user may also provide a second image to the model, and Dahl E2 will integrate the most important aspects of both photos to generate a final one. According to OpenAI testing, Dahl E2's picture categorization and captioning are more accurate. It was discovered in the last year that algorithms were more susceptible to being duped into mislabeling an object. Flamingo's visual language model analyzes picture-text pairings, such as inquiries and expected replies to an image, rather than text-only instances. The model can then respond to inquiries regarding fresh photographs or videos. DeepMind uses the recognition and counting of animals, such as three zebras in a picture, as an example. To complete this objective, a typical visual model that is not connected with a language model would need to be retrained with thousands of sample photos. Flamingo, on the other hand, merely requires a few sample photos with corresponding text output. Flamingo outperforms other few shot techniques in 16 image comprehension benchmarks assessed. In these tasks, Flamingo must, for example, notice hate speech on memes, identify and describe items, or name events in a film. Flamingo beats current best practices in seven tasks that have been fine-tuned with thousands of annotated examples despite having just 32 instances and no weight change in the models. Flamingo can also hold meaningful discussions and assimilate information from images and words. In a conversation with a person, for example, the model may correct itself on its own when persuaded to do so by pointing out a potential inaccuracy. The findings, according to the researchers, are a crucial step toward a general visual comprehension of artificial intelligence. Whatever the length of this path, connecting massive AI models for multimodal tasks is going to be critical. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.